Attention, unidentified ship. I am Commodore Jacob Ross, in command of the USS Reuben James. We have been searching for a Klingon vessel reported to have attacked a colony in the Gliese system. You fit the description of the ship we are looking for. Unless you can prove you are not, we will take immediate action. ships in range, please. We need help. I don't know what these things are, but they're all over the station. They're killing people. Please, you have to help us. Attempt to stop us. We hunger. We must feed. Leave immediately, or I will amplify the time distortion and destroy this station. You will not survive. Hey, those things are holed up in the lounge, and they've got some of my customers in there with them. The door is barricaded, but a few hits with a phaser should take care of that. Get my people out of there!
Thanks for the help, friend. What were those things? Uh, that spirit snuck up on me. I noticed a spike in triadic energy, and I was working to adjust the station's shields to compensate. I went to fetch a hyperspreader, and I was attacked! If you help me, I can finish my repairs before the triadic energy reaches lethal levels. By the way, you can call me Scotty. Just as I suspected, the triolic energy is increasing. We'll be cooked like a haggis if we don't do something about it. There is a wee store on this station. The last who runs it, Cassidy, said they might be getting a supply of the new quantum flux regulators. The Mark II versions. If we had one of those regulators, I could modify the flux coordinating sensors and use them to modulate the shields protecting the station. That would buy us some time. Go find Cassidy. She'll know where they are. What were those things? They were floating, and, and one looked at me, and I, I felt so weak. And, and then it, it lifted me up, and... Oh, it was horrible! Oh, are you looking for something from the store? A quantum what? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just too scared right now to think about selling anything. I'm closing down until I get me wits about me. Maybe it would be best if I packed up and went back to Sherman's planet. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a nerve tonic would soothe me. A nice stiff one, you know. Can you get one for me? What can I get you? A nerve tonic? Almost every culture in the galaxy has nerve tonics. Most worlds have multiple variations, and everyone thinks that the one their grandmother made is better than all the rest. Look, I tend bar at a commerce station in the middle of one of this quadrant's busiest trade routes. It's my job to be able to make anything you want, but uh, you gotta be specific. I could make you 14,647 different nerve tonics, 18,397 if you're bullying. So, uh, what kind do you want? Tell you what, one of the waitresses should be able to help you narrow down what kind of nerve tonic would be best. Talk to one of them, and then come back. I'm sure we can make exactly what you need. Did you get the quantum flux regulator? Nerve tonics? Ugh! You don't look like you need one of those! These wee beasties are troublesome, but they're not as bad as a ship full of angry Romulans! Now, I've been known to enjoy an occasional nip of scotch whiskey. That's the only nerve tonic you'll ever need. Why do you need to know about them? Oh, for Cassidy. Now that makes sense. She's a bonnie lass, that Cassidy, and more than willing to spend a little time with the right Starfleet officer, if you know what I mean. But she hasn't got the stomach for fighting. Is she alright? I hate for anything to happen to her. Glad to hear it. Sounds like she needs something to take a wee bit of the edge off. And that happens to be one of my specialties, along with transwarp transporter technology and warp field mechanics. Cassidy's been meeting me every evening in the bar for a spot of cheer, but I've never seen her order a nerve tonic. Perhaps if I told you what she likes, you'll be able to figure out the right mix. The bartender will help you. I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. I'll need some more details before I can make a drink for you. If you need help figuring out what combination of ingredients you want, you should talk to one of the waitresses. That's what they're here for, after all. So, do you want it to be hot or cold? What kind of flavor profile are you looking for? How strong do you want this drink to be? How would you like this drink to be served? 
And last but certainly not least, what kind of garnish would you like? This should be all the info I need. I'll put the drink on the bar when I'm done. I'll put the bill on your tab. Have a drink for me. Oh, I love warm drinks. They're so relaxing. Oh, <laughs> there's a lovely sour note to this drink. <laughs> I feel so refreshed. Oh, there's just enough oomph to this drink to make it really stick with you. <sighs> I like that. Oh, I love the style of this glass. It accentuates the flavor of the ingredients. Honey! No, not you. <laughs> the drink. <laughs> oh, that little bit of sweetness is just perfect. It adds the most delightful note to each sip. Ah, that is marvelous. Oh, I'm feeling much better now, thank you. All righty. What tool was it you needed? Oh, a quantum flux regulator mark II. I have one of those right here. Please, take it as a thank you. Cheers. The right tool for the right job. I'll start making the adjustments, but I don't know if I've got enough time. You can't change the laws of physics. The trialic energy levels keep rising, and sensors show the blasted comet is to blame. Modulating the shields is not going to be enough. Something needs to be done about that comet if we're going to live to see the morning. ship from the house of Duras. I am Captain Bavat, son of Warat, and leader of my house. My brother died due to Duras' treachery. I will avenge his death with the destruction of a hundred Duras ships. Prepare to die! If you are receiving this message, then you and your crew have completed your mission. Driffin's Comet is destroyed, and the Davidians are no longer a threat to the Federation. You've done well. And, to prove that I'm not the immoral monster that some make me out to be, I'm going to help you. When you last docked at Deep Space K-7, I had some modifications made to your vessel. 
One of those is the addition of a Borg temporal node salvaged from a cube in the Batron cluster. It's set to return you to our time. Congratulations on a job well done. Drake out. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The disappearance of Driffin's Comet in the 23rd century will be a scientific curiosity. I have taken steps to suppress information that might reveal our involvement, and I trust that you and your crew will refrain from telling stories about what happened here. After all, we're getting along so well. One thing I hope you'll take away from all this is that any opinion you may have of the immorality of so-called rogue elements like Section 31 is a bit naive. Contrary to popular opinion among some Starfleet officers, we do not spend our days plotting evil and committing random acts of villainy like characters in a bad hollow novel. We protect the Federation from threats. Thanks to you, the Davidians are no longer on that list. If you think about it, everything we do is to preserve the freedoms you so enjoy. You should be grateful. Drake out. Until next time.